Hello, welcome back to another disassembly video. Today I'm going to be covering the Hatsang Arms Escort series of shotguns. This particular model is a Magnum in left-handed, but do not worry, although some of the components may look slightly different, the procedure itself will be exactly the same. All right, let's get started. First things first, you remove the retaining cap and foregrip. The barrel assembly will then slide straight off. Gas piston. One thing to note is it has a tiny little O-ring. Do not lose that. I tend to put it just on top of the gas piston itself and put it to one side. Now, this is slightly tricky, but entirely possible. So what I tend to do is I use my left hand on the recoil assembly. And you can see in there, there's a little notch. So what you do, I then use my middle finger just to push the bolt back slightly until the notch that you can see is in the center of the cocking handle. Once it's there, the cocking handle will simply pull out and the entire bolt and recoil assembly and spring will slide off. The bolt lifts off on top of the recoil assembly and the spring is separate. Now, a lot of people have said that that is as far as you need to go to strip the shotgun down to clean it. I do disagree. So the only other thing that I would recommend removing for a clean is the trigger group. You have two pins. So the best way to take these out is to knock them out from the right hand side to the left hand side. The reason being is the, re the retaining clip is on the right hand side. So once you have passed the retaining clip, I've already partially knocked these out, to save time. Once you've got past the retaining clip, they will simply pull out by hand. They are interchangeable. Both dowels are exactly the same. And then the trigger group will simply pull out. And that allows you to get right in to the back of the gun, which is generally pretty disgusting. And that is fully disassembled to allow you to clean it. The only thing that I would recommend doing periodically, you just need a pair of circlet pliers, is to remove the cap on the magazine. I will warn you, it is under a lot of tension, so be warned. And then you can shove a rag in through one end and through the other. The plunger itself is retained at the center and at this end, so you won't get it out, so you need to clean both ways. The spring is usually quite heavily soiled. So, reassembly, trigger group simply slides in. Once again, go from left to right, put one pin in, and that allows you to swing it to put the second one in. Slide the recoil spring on. The recoil assembly, you have a little plunger just at the front. That needs to slide within the bolt. And then we simply push that back once again. Get your left hand holding the recoil assembly, middle finger on the bolt. Line up the notch, cut 
locking handle goes back in. The gas piston, followed by the small O-ring. Barrel assembly, make sure to line it up with the bolt gently. Now we'll simply slide back on, all the way back. The foregrip, make sure that it lines up with the little guide at the back here. Push into place. And the retaining clap. Screw it in place. And then make sure everything works. It holds back. Safety catch works. And there you go.